Hey guys, this is uh, Tom from The Verge and we're here having a look at an early version of uh, Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Uh, so we're obviously on the, the sort of desktop here. You'll notice in the bottom left there's no start uh, start button orb anymore. Um, but you can get to the usual start button from here. So you literally just swipe and you'll get the, the uh, charms bar here. And this will take us straight into the Metro interface. Now um, obviously in a developer preview that we didn't have the semantic zoom. So now we can demonstrate that. You literally pinch to get that, and you can drag down on the uh, on the tiles here and name them. So you can go in, change that to test. So th this is a good way to sort of like group applications. And uh, what you will notice as we're demonstrating this is that there's obviously a purple sort of background with uh, some sort of different be um, elements there. Now, if we go into settings and we're going into the control panel here. You can see some of the new sort of personalization options. So we've got a color dragger here. There's not too many uh, colors to pick here, um, but Microsoft's giving you a few here, so let's just go into the blue one. Um, and we'll choose some bubbles here. And we'll go back to the start. And you can obviously change, change the bubbles there. Um, let's have a look at some of the other settings. So you've got some other, other colors. You can go all the way up to gray of a like, grey and orange theme. Okay, so we've also got the presence of Windows Media Center in this build. And if we launch that up, you can see that, that it's pretty much the same as Windows 7. Um, I don't think Microsoft's done a lot of work to Media Center um, in Windows 8, so it's, it's largely untouched. Let's take a look at some of the other apps that we've got in built. Um, the actual cons this isn't the actual consumer preview build, but the consumer preview build will obviously come with a lot of the sort of Metro store applications. Um, but we can still have a look at like Metro uh, desktop, uh, remote desktop here. So you can connect to uh, a Windows PC from there. Uh, let's see what else we've got on here. We've got the store on here, but I don't think you can uh, access that at the moment because we're not online. So, so one, of the, um, one of the new gestures in uh, Windows 8 Consumer Preview is if we open up like a Metro style application like remote desktop, and we drag down from the bottom, now you can either snap this to the left or you, or you can literally take it down to the bottom and it will disappear. So that it, it, it closes the application but um, Microsoft's obviously done a lot of work for background applications so it just runs in a sus suspended state in the background now. Um, if we switch to the desktop, we can actually do the same for the actual desktop. So it's almost like the, the desktop is running in an application and it will switch straight back into the Metro start screen. Um, we've obviously got Windows Explorer. And you can you can swipe down on the ribbon there to get some sort of touch-friendly navigation. Um, a lot of the sort of file navigation will probably be done um, within the actual Metro interface, uh, where you'll be able to sort of share. We can't we can't share because we're not in an actual application. Let's just go in here. But you'll be able to share data with other applications using the uh, Windows 8 contracts. Obviously, the uh, the normal gestures of swiping applications into view still work. So we can s swipe uh, Metro apps onto the main window there, or into the left here. So that's replacing the desktop. You can continue swiping through. And this is obviously, uh, you can resize this. And you can also obviously drag away and then get back to the start screen now. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at the uh, Windows Explorer in the Metro interface. So one way to surface this is in the uh, control panel Metro style version. So if we browse here, we can get into the different, so we go into computer and we can browse the various folders there. So obviously that's a bit more touch friendly than using the actual Windows Explorer, which um, Microsoft has obviously supplied for legacy reasons. Um, we can obviously change the desktop backgrounds here. There's a few inbuilt ones. I think the consumer preview, the full consumer preview will have like the beta fish from Windows 7. Um, and a few other sort of floral pictures. Okay, so we're just going to have a look at the actual uh, keyboard on uh, Windows 8. It seems like it's largely um, untouched from the actual developer preview. Um, we've obviously got uh, pen sport. We don't have a pen here, but it does seem to pick up um, words quite well. So it should translate that there. Um, and you've obviously got a split keyboard as well. So you can use that. And you've also got the standard keyboard with the numbers and the uh, smiley faces. 
There's quite a few of those on there. Okay, so there's an interesting uh, option on the sort of pen interface here. We can have a, a correct T interface. Um, let me just try that now. Let's see if it corrects anything. Okay, so, um, let's try joining. So it's obviously joining those those letters into a word. Um, let's try splitting. So that works quite well. And obviously deleting, you can just swipe to delete. Okay, so that was a quick look at an early uh, version of the Windows 8 Consumer Preview Build.